Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Free Quinter coming back to you again. Hope everyone's doing well and you're taking care of yourselves. Now, just remember, guys, I'm not a financial advisor, simply sharing my thoughts and opinions here, so only take it as that. All right, so I just wanted to kind of show the XRP charts. I have not looked at this myself. Uh, really, nothing too interesting. Uh, I'm sure if we dug, if we really dug in it, into it, we might see something. But hey, that's beside the point today. Just wanted to really get into this uh, B2B payments moving from inertia to ignition. Uh, it's one of the articles that I came across. And what I found is very interesting is, is in one uh, particular paragraph here. Now, there's a ton of stuff interesting in here, but for this video, um, I found this interesting. It says, today, some of the industry's biggest players will converge in New York City at this year's payments B2B Payments Executive Forum with Visa as presenting sponsor. The forum is called it is, is a call to action for key industry stakeholders to tackle friction in the one hundred and twenty five trillion dollars worth of global payments volume flowing between businesses around the world. And it's an exploration amongst among experts as to why, despite years, despite years of innovation and technological advancements, the inertia of paper and manual processes continue to hunt, to stunt B2B payments technology adoption. Now, guys, first of all, one hundred twenty five trillion dollars worth. And this is exactly what Ripple XRP are going to fix and they are in the process of fixing. Now, this whole thing where it's saying the inertia of paper, of paper and manual processes continue, not for much longer. And I believe it's been, it's been uh, the status quo simply because there was nothing really available to fix it. I mean, seriously, what was able to uh, settle within seconds and also remain rather, you know, relatively inexpensive nothing nothing at all uh the best thing we had of course was through visa but that's a person to person uh as far as business to business really nothing out there swift at the time was the best option but that is no longer the case and guys again 125 trillion dollars this is huge right here guys just imagine just 10 percent of this going through XRP. And personally, I believe it will be all of it. All of it that XRP will be a part of transacting. Very, very good stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. Brad Garlinghouse will be interviewed on CNN tomorrow talking about Ripple and XRP. This is, of course, on September 11th, the infamous day for the United States. Now that carries its own set of wheeze, but uh, we're not gonna get into that. However, this is a, an awesome thing right here. Um, Brad getting on talking about Ripple and XRP on CNN. Now this is a young lady that will be conducting the uh, interview, it says here, segment about the new book by Ben uh, Mesrich. Bitcoin billionaires on first move with Julia Chatterley just now CNN tomorrow. Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple XRP. I'll try to record for y'all for y'all. Uh, so. So anyway, yeah, this is what's going on tomorrow. I think this is a, a, a scuba man who says this. But uh, uh, but yeah, the little lazy uh, lady, lazy little lady here is going to be conducting that interview very very exciting stuff stuff guys uh and i do believe this yeah this this uh, xrp daily or the xrp daily uh this is alex cobb's thing i believe uh very good good job though i i, I do like the way he is uh you know keeping everything covered he is definitely uh dedicated to the xrp community um okay so it says here i just i'm gonna go ahead and read this if you watch the video clip, she also states that they will specifically be talking about the company Ripple and the cryptocurrency XRP. Pretty nice to be able to see Ripple CEO on major mainstream media talking about 
That's a, that's kind of a ton, tongue twister. Right? Major mainstream media, say that three times fast, talking about the greatest digital asset ever created, XRP. Hopefully we get some decent statements and good discussion in this interview, and we'll, we'll make sure to update our readers on the latest information that comes out of this interview. Now, hopefully, guys, there will be tons of people actually watching. That's going to be very interesting tomorrow. I'll, actually, I want to try to watch it myself, maybe even live stream it, but we'll see. All right, moving on. Visa powers MoneyGram push to card P2P. Okay, so uh, I read an article earlier. Uh, the whole, I think the thing is, or someone tweeted something and saying that we'd, we'd be able to basically send over XRP to the card and spend XRP directly from the card or something to that effect. Either way, it's it's just awesome. I mean. Visa, MoneyGram, we know already who else is involved. Obviously, Ripple XRP. Guys, it is happening right now. It's happening. So we don't have anything to worry about. As far as the, you know, whether it's XRP is uh, a, a part of this change that's happening, that's not even a question. It's a matter of when. It is in the works right now. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care. All you XRP haters out there, look, you can read it and weep. It's happening right in front of your faces. If you want to deny it, hey, you're more than welcome to, but you're just fooling yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. Survey 40% of millennials look to crypto in the event of recession. Um very interesting. Now, <laughs> the only problem I have with this is why does a guy with the Ripple logo on his shirt have to be such a, I don't know, he's he's a hipster. And, you know, I'm just really not liking that pose. <laughs> oh, just joking, guys. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, so it's pretty obvious we could be facing a recession now. Despite the fact that we have had some official come out and say that um, it won't be happening, uh, yeah, I don't believe them. I just don't believe them. I think they're trying to um, kind of trying to avoid it by lowering interest rates, but ultimately and eventually, it's going to happen unless they do something like go ahead and you know turn on the switch. XRP, I think they're, if I'm, from what I've been able to kind of ascertain, XRP is the answer that they were looking for, and that's what they're going to use to get themselves out of trouble. And what I mean by trouble is out of debt. Now, guys, you know, don't be mistaken. This has been um, planned for a very long time, okay? A very long time. So, uh, what we're seeing is just a uh, fruition of many plans that were, you know, drawn up some time ago uh, by a lot of different people. I, I don't know if necessarily it's a good or a bad thing, but either way, guys, it, it's it's going to happen, and it is happening as we speak. So, still, nonetheless, it is very interesting. Okay, moving on. Backed to require a $3,900 deposit if you want to, you know, get involved. So it says here, according according to Tuesday's notice, customers will have a, a $3,900 deposit requirement for both backs delay. I'm sorry, for both backs daily and monthly futures contracts as an initial hedge. The speculative initial requirements will, will be somewhat higher at $4,290 each. So, yeah, I mean, all in all, it's not necessarily a whole lot of money, but for your average Joe out there, I mean, that might be a little bit steep. Um, but all in all, guys, the fact, the most important thing is that it is launching. You know, and I have read a couple uh, articles where, let me see here, I got a couple articles on my phone where they were saying um, 
that XRP or XRP, but uh, that backed may not launch unless uh, there was, or rather, there was some work to be done, as uh, as was said. So yes, uh, okay. So I found the article. It was here. U.S. SEC chairman on Bitcoin ETFs. There's work left to be done. Now uh, there's there's just been a lot of conflicting information. Just a lot of conflicting articles coming out. Um, and uh, guys, you know, in my opinion, it really seems as though they're kind of trying to throw people off, maybe uh, do that whole shaking thing, you know, make people insecure about what they're doing, what they've invested in, and ultimately want to vacate the space. But I can tell you there are too many things that are in work, in play right now for them to continue to put this off. We're not talking years from now before uh, that something can be done. I mean, we have China uh, coming out with their cryptocurrency that is going to be backed by gold. Do you believe that other countries are not going to do the same? Absolutely not. They, th it, it has to be done. It's going to have to be done. XRP, in my opinion, will be backed by gold. Um, and it, it, it's, it's just coming. Uh, I believe these plans, again, have been in the works for a very long time. Um, now they've just gotten to the point where they have to do something. So, um, we'll see. Uh, I just personally, I don't believe it's going to take years and all this stuff that a lot of people are saying they could, I mean, um, I, I really, you know, I'm not in there, uh, shaking it or, or mixing it up with these guys, but from what I can see on the outside, they have to do something. Okay. But it says here also progress is being made. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Um, I think the the main thing is they really want to sow that doubt. And and guys, you got to remember, FUD is not one word. All right, we're talking about three different things here. We have fear, we have uncertainty, and we have doubt. Um, so once they sow that in to the public, uh, you know what's going to happen? People start vacating. People start to um, diminish or rather uh, shrink their positions. And I think that is more or less the, the point. So, okay. So the other article, the last article, Bitcoin misery index signals bull run brewing, says Fundstrat Research. And it goes into the other, uh, several other cryptos here. Uh, and Thomas Lee says for those wondering if bitcoin misery index still is useful it told us markets will be trendless after july we shared this with our clients on july 30th um and it gives you a link uh, it says we sent this to our clients july 30th on about uh, btc take summer off bitcoin misery index fell below 60 in july and associated with trendless bitcoin Waiting for BMI to get to 50 before expecting next big up, uh, up move Bitcoin misery index. So, yeah, Fundstrat, um, this is pretty interesting. It'll be interesting to see if something happens. Uh, reading on, the BMI features a scale from 0 to 100, and it's designed to offer investors a look at how miserable Bitcoin holders are. Based on the leading cryptocurrency volatility and price. And that's actually kind of funny. Last year, Lee described the mechanics of the scale to CNBC. He says, when the Bitcoin misery index is at misery below, <laughs> below 27, uh, so this is funny to me, Bitcoin sees the best 12-month performance. A signal is generated above, uh, I'm sorry, about every year. When the BMI is at a misery level, future returns are very good. Uh, okay, yeah, so this is a chart I want. Now, as we see here, uh, you know, Bitcoin did drop below 10,000. Someone was speaking about that, saying that they were expecting it to break below it. But either way, guys, um, we are here and uh, hey, just got to get ready for what's about to happen. I do believe I personally believe we are going to see 
something change here around the time back launches, I'm, or at least I am hoping. I am, I am definitely smoking on my hopium pipe, and uh, you know maybe we will see something really good at that point. Definitely something good for XRP. Okay, guys, so that's really all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I want to thank you guys for commenting for everything you do. I, I really appreciate it. I've been kind of um, on the fence about where I'm going to go with the channel or if I, what I'm going to do, actually. Uh, it, um, Yeah, just some things that I'm seeing, uh, That's uh, just things that have happened. I'm, I'm really not liking a lot, but not a whole lot I can do about it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I am. Uh, I keep threatening about this other video. I'm. I'm gonna make it. I, I guess. Uh, just seeing what's happening with this channel has not really inspired me to go ahead and do it. But but we'll see. Hopefully, um, I'll, I'll be able to get that out there and just see what type of interest I can uh, get from it. But anyway, guys, if you haven't already done so please hit that subscribe button as well as smash that like button and the post notification button. So you know when I post it again. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.